Hey guys, so now with the new iPhone 5S, which is actually the first phone featuring 64-bit architecture, uh, something that we've been seeing coming out more on computers, more of a standard on many computers the last few years. I mean, it's the first phone with that. I'm not really sure, I haven't watched that Apple keynote event uh, that they did hold when they did unveil the new iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C, but did they actually say if you can do something at the moment with 64-bit architecture because if it's just 64-bit and you can't do anything special and cool with it why would you want to use it so it seems now that samsung is going out now a co-executive or a co-ceo here for samsung called shin jong kyun is saying that future android smartphones from samsung will be also featuring 64-bit architecture in android so that could mean that the Galaxy S4 or the Galaxy S5 and the Galaxy Note 4 is going to feature that 64-bit architecture. Of course, Android also needs to get updated. It will be interesting to see what you will be able to do with this because it sounds pretty dope. It sounds pretty awesome. It sounds pretty insane. I know with computers, 64-bit versus 32-bit, many times there isn't really that of a big deal, uh, that of a big difference, but uh, I'm, I'm sure uh, there will come out some some special things that you'll be able to do with 64-bit architecture, and it really is cool here to see uh, how technology is moving forward so fast right now in, in all areas, uh, so um, it's going to be fun to see if there just will be a, like in, maybe even different games that will support this or certain apps that you will be able to use with 64-bit architecture. Uh, I have really no idea. And uh, is there really, for real, is, is there use for this? Uh, will it improve performance in a certain way? Uh, it will definitely be fun here to pick up the... Uh, the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C and really get the hands-on there, hands-on experience. Of course, the iPhone 5C doesn't have 64-bit architecture. It has the iPhone 5's internals with the plastic back, but hey, it's going to be interesting. We are in interesting technology times right now with a lot of fun things popping up all over the place. So stay tuned for more awesomeness. Have a good day.